She likes you, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she does. does not. Yeah, she does. She's like half my age, man. You'd be better off with her. Uh-uh, no. Lizzie's too granola for me. <laughs> what she really wants is a daddy, like everyone else here. You should take advantage of that. That's not really funny, Eddie. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'm sorry. How come you never talk about your dad, John? Nothing worth talking about. What's going on in that greenhouse over there? Maybe they need a hand with that fertilizer. No, 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 they're okay, they're okay. Come on, we got orchard duty. It's a big secret, John. Sorry? The greenhouse, what do you guys got in there? What are you hiding? Because every time I go near it, you and just about everyone else acts all weird. Look, you're a guest here. These things take time. I've been here for six weeks. Eddie, nothing's- I'm not blind, man. <laughs> Did you forget that you had a duffel bag full of guns when you brought me here? Mike so... and Jan welcomed you here with open arms. They feed you. They give you a place to and stay. And Mike and Jan fold their hands every night before chow and talk about how we're family, but your family's got too many secrets. Now I see the fertilizer going into that greenhouse. I know what's going on. And I want it. You know what? Whatever you guys are trying to blow up. <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll talk to Mike and Jan. Hey, Kim. Hey, Mike and Jan in? Yeah. They were looking for you. Good, good. Good timing then, huh? Going in. You got all the cash? In the bag. Which bag? The one with the money in it. What about the bank records? Leave them. Shouldn't we sort out what they can trace? There is no time, Mike. What's going on? What does it look like? I don't... You screwed up, John. You blew it big time. What are you... What, what, what are you doing? Are you leaving? Why? That is why, you idiot. John, your friend's a cop. You know how much jail time we'd get for this much weed? Nice picture, huh? Got him fresh out of the academy. You know, that, he was he was hitchhiking. He told me he was going to Eureka. How he was waiting for you, John. He has been here for six weeks gathering evidence because you brought him here. Oh, Mike, that's impossible. He played you for a sucker. Now it's over. No. Wait. Wait, no, wait, wait. Stop! We don't know what he's told him. He hasn't even been in here yet. If he's still gathering evidence and trying to make a case, then it's not too late. Not too late for what? To protect us, to protect all of us. It's not too late to fix this. If I can fix this. How are you gonna do that, John? Huh? No deer, huh? Nope. You talked to Mike and Jan yet? Yeah, sure did. Yeah, what'd they say? They said that I should uh, bring you by the greenhouse tonight after supper and that they would explain everything. Cool. That's great. What are you doing? Did you know it would be me? What? In the truck? Did you know it would be me driving? Did, did they choose me? They? John, I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't load that one. So how about you just answer the question, Eddie? 
Yeah. They chose you, John. <sighs> Why? Because you hadn't been here long, didn't have a criminal record, and the psych profile said you would be amenable for coercion. Uh, amenable for coercion? Hey. Lower the gun, John. Okay? This isn't personal. What's not personal? Stop, stop. I'm sorry, John, but you're not gonna shoot me. You're not a murderer. You're a good man. You're a farmer. Nope. Not a farmer. I was a hunter. I'm a hunter. I'm gonna walk away now, John. Mother stole again from me this week. You know, I don't even keep money in my purse anymore. I've been hiding it. But when she wants a drink, she stole $30. I know it may not seem like a lot of money to some of you, but it's a lot to me. And I want it back. <laughs> Something you want to say? John. You've been coming here for a month now. I just don't think $30 is worth getting angry about. Well, Francine feels like $30. Francine feels a little too much, you ask me. You all do. I mean, seriously. So-and-so never called me back. My mother stole $30 from me. I never even knew who my parents were. A couple years ago, my, uh, my birth mother found me, and uh, she told me, I was special. And, uh, and through her, I met my real father. Great news, right? Well, he pretended to love me just long enough to steal my kidney because he had to have a transplant. And then he dropped me back in the world like a piece of trash, just like he did on the day that I was born. You want your damn $30 back? I want my kidney back. Probably a good idea. You know, if you get kidney cancer, you've only got one. That's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry if I ruined your meeting. Oh, hell. You just said everything I've always wanted to say in there. Most of the time, I want to stand up and scream. Get over it, freaks. Well, why don't you? Well, I have to keep a cork in. Once I get all hot and bothered, there's no stopping me. Guess you won't be coming back next week, huh? No, not likely. Mm, it's too bad. I like bald guys. I'm not bald. I can wait. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Helen, by the way. Hi, Helen. I'm John. sleeping in a strange bed. No, it, it has nothing to do with you, Helen, I promise. I really like you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll call you later.
Morning. Morning. Jen, I know you like to drive through my neighborhood. And I know that every now and then you like to park outside my house. Now, I thought it might all stop when I moved, but uh, here you are. <laughs> now, I'll admit, at first I thought it was funny. <laughs> now it's just annoying. So how about you tell me what the hell it is you want? Why? Excuse me. Why? There is no why. You think you're the first person that ever got conned? You needed a father figure and I needed a kidney. And that's what happened. Get over it. And John, don't come back. You're not wanted. Six months. Sort of an anniversary, right? I didn't get you anything. That's okay. Only cost me a buck. It's to my place. Thought you might be tired of knocking. Well, hell, I'm not. I don't know what to say. There's, uh, there's just one condition, though, John. When you stay over, you stay over. What do you mean? I followed you last night to that house that you go to. Is it your father's house? Why would you follow me, Helen? Why would you do that? Well, you sneak off in the middle of the night. I, I, I just needed to know where you were going. I care about you, John. No, well, yeah, but what I do is my business. It's personal. I wasted 20 years of my life being angry. I told myself I would get over it, but I, I couldn't do it alone. I needed to find help. You help me, John. And I can help you. You just have to promise me that you're not going to go to that place anymore. All right. All right? Helen, what? He Helen, what, what? Hey, Helen, wait. Helen! Don't! Helen! Why are you doing this? He's not coming out of his house, John, because he doesn't care. 
I know why you're here, why you keep coming here. You're scared. You're scared of moving forward with me, with us. You're gonna have to choose him or me. No, 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 it's not that simple. Yes, it is. I, I, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't! I don't know how. Because you don't know what's gonna happen. None of us do. It's why it's called a leap of faith, John. You don't have to be alone. So, what did I do to deserve this? What? Can a fella take his girl out for a picnic lunch just cause? Fella? That's right. Fella. So where are you taking me? <laughs> I'm not telling, so just quit asking. Can I be of any help? You just read your obituaries and drink your coffee and... I'll take care of the everything. Don't knock the old bits. It's the nicest part of the paper. No one ever says anything mean about people once they're dead. Mmm. Now here I am thinking the funnies are the nicest part of the paper. John. John, what's your father's name? Why? Is it Anthony? Anthony Cooper. Yes, that's right. He's dead. You sure you want to do this? We could just go on that picnic, you know. Mm -hmm. Soon, I promise. Hey. Maybe he left you his kidney. <laughs> <laughs> For we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will live with the Lord forever. We commit the soul of Anthony Cooper to you, but we shall never be separated. And now we are united with Christ as we go toward him. Amen. Do you wish to say anything, John? I forgive you.
So what's the verdict, Mr. Locke? Uh, the seismic bolting is all first rate. There's no visible mold, no dry rot. It'll all be in my report, but uh, I think you and your husband got a pretty nice house here. If I had a husband, I'm sure he would be happy to hear that. If you'll just sign this invoice. Son. What do you want? Look, John, I know what I did to you was wrong. You stole my kidney. I was dying. You could have asked me. You could have just asked me. What do you want from me? I killed myself off because there are two men out there who were going to beat me to it. Oh. What did you do, steal their livers? No. I took them for $700,000. Retirement con. I put the money in a safe deposit box. But these two guys may be sitting on the bank to see if I show my face, which is why I need you to go in there and get it for me. <sighs> you think I'm stupid? I want you to take 200 grand of it. It won't make up for what I did to you, but it's the best I can do. I'll be at the Flightline Motel. It's out near the airport until tomorrow afternoon. And then I'm gone, money or no money. And John, if I don't see you again, I'll understand. your Sunday best. I am taking you out to paint. John, we have visitors. Um, th these men say they knew your father. Hi, John. I'm Jimmy Bain. Now, I'm sure Helen told you I didn't really she know him. She told me. But I'd like to ask you a couple questions, if that's OK. Sure, of course. Have you seen your father since he died, Mr. Locke? How, have well, I? Well, we were thinking possibly he's not dead, and maybe you know that. I mean, for his son, you didn't look too shook up at his funeral. How dare you? If you had any idea what that man did to him, what that son of a bitch... Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We were there to get past him, to get on with our lives, to let him go. Get out of here. Helen, hey. Okay. Okay. Just one thing before we go. What's in the bag, John? Work papers and stuff. I'm a home inspector. You mind if we take a look?
Well, there you go. <clears throat> Thanks for the coffee, miss. to those men, John? No, I was scared. I was... I was scared. John! Can I come in? Yeah, of course. Any problems? No. Nope. Your date at my funeral. She got a name? Helen. Oh, that's a nice name. Pretty girl, too. I'm, uh, I'm gonna ask her to marry me. Tonight, actually. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Your share. Should buy you a nice honeymoon. I didn't do this for the money. Then why did you do it? Well, all right. Um, my plane. I got. A, I got a cab waiting. You don't want the cash. The maid's gonna get a hell of a tip. Bye, John. Are you him? Listen, sweetheart. How could you? How could you do this to him? We were moving past this. Helen, wait. Helen, wait. You don't understand. I was going to tell you everything. You lied to me. I, no, please, I can explain. You looked me right in the eye, and you lied to me. You've made no, your choice, no, John. No. You need his love more than mine. No, my choice is you. I was going to... I love you. I... No, no, please, 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 Helen. Please, I love you, and... And, and I want to spend my life with you, and, and I can't live without you, Helen. So we'll... So... Will you marry me? Helen. 